treated as a melt um, underground, and that melt was uh, pushed up near the Earth's surface, and it stayed there for quite a long time and cooled very, very slowly. And as it cooled, the mineral constituents of the melt began to crystallize out, and these crystals uh, grew to be very large, and uh, they're described in the vernacular as phenocrysts. Then subsequent to the formation of these large crystals, the um, melt was extruded onto the surface and, and a lava flow on the surface was created, and the phenocrysts, or the big crystals, went with the flow wherever it, it went. And we have an area apparently of some size that is covered by this lava flow. Schiller is natural to the plagioclase, and then the, the green and the red are the, the different oxidation states of iron. In terms of, for stone purposes or jewelry purposes, that those colors are, and the, are things that are attractive to someone who wants to make a product. And the key becomes having a stable supply so that then you can develop contracts and, and, as, and be a source to someone who can use an amount every year. There's no question of the widespread nature here. Um, I mean, we've driven across more than a mile of deposit, there's that question. And we don't know the edges of it yet.